In this video, I'm going to review a small portable refrigerator from Vsys called the CR18. Vsys is a sub-brand of Acort, which is a Chinese manufacturer of small appliances such as ice makers, air conditioners, and water filters. The CR18 is an 18-liter fridge that does use a compressor-based refrigeration system and not a thermoelectric cooler. It comes with a one-year warranty, and even though it's marketed as a refrigerator, it can get down to freezer temperatures. They claim a pretty dramatic 15 minutes time to reach the freezing mark, and we're definitely going to test that. Inside the box is the fridge itself, a manual, and a couple cords. Pretty simple. One thing you'll notice right away that you won't see in any of the marketing pictures on their site or the Amazon page is that huge hump on the right side of the refrigerated inner chamber. I suppose 18 liters isn't a lot of volume, but it did look a little bigger from the outside. The CR18 has nice carrying handles built into the sides. One thing to note, it is much heavier on the right side than the left side. That's because that's where the compressor is. On that same side on the exterior is the plug for power input, which is 12 volt or 24 volt DC. One of the cables included with the fridge is an AC adapter, so you can use this at home and plug it into 120 volt AC outlet in the United States but I'd highly recommend that you stick to using direct current as it will be much more efficient as you won't waste power converting from AC to DC. One thing I always look at when reviewing a product is the manual. This one is clearly an auto translation from Chinese, but it's still pretty easy to read and understand. More importantly, it does have contact information for support along with warranty information. The only support option is email, unfortunately, but they do list support contact hours in the Pacific time zone. All right, enough talking about this thing. Let's do some testing. First, I'm gonna test the CR18 connected to my 12 volt DC solar panel system in my shed. I'm gonna use a temperature logger inside the fridge to monitor temperature over time and let it run for a full day outside in my shed. I did it outside so we'll be able to see how ambient temperatures affect the fridge, which is important if you're going to be using this in your car or camper. After connecting the fridge and getting it started, I waited for the compressor to kick on and measured the current being used by the fridge at 2.9 amps, which is 38 watts at 13.1 volts. After around 24 hours, I retrieved the temperature logger, stopped the data log, and let the fridge warm up to outside temperature. Here's the data log for the fridge running on DC power. The lowest temperature achieved was negative 12.2 Celsius, or 10 Fahrenheit. After letting the fridge warm back up to ambient temperature, I reset the data logger and repeated the procedure, but used 120 volt AC power with the supplied AC adapter cable. I forgot to measure the power draw outside while I was running the test, but I measured it later at 42 watts, which is about what you would expect with around 10% loss compared to the DC which used 38 watts. Again, after letting it run for a full day, here's the data log. This day was slightly warmer, which may be what accounts for the lowest temperature achieved by the fridge being slightly warmer, so it looks like the performance of the fridge is about the same on either power source. Another thing that I wanted to show you and test was how quiet the device is. I didn't want to measure the sound outside, but here you can hear it running in the shed. Later on, indoors, with no one else in the house to make any noise, I measured the sound level at about 47 dB. That's very quiet. The only time you'll hear this running is if you're within a few feet of it and everything is dead silent. Otherwise, if your car is running or you're out in nature, you won't even know it's there. And last but not least, I tested the performance claim that Vsys made about reaching 32 degrees Fahrenheit in 15 minutes. I let it run until I heard the compressor stop running, which was well beyond 15 minutes, and then shut off the data logger. As you can see, it didn't quite get there, even after almost 30 minutes. And this was indoors at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperature. So I'm going to have to dispute their claim there, but it is still reasonably fast. Another quick note to mention is that during all of this testing, I did notice that the power plug on the side of the fridge was a little tight and made inserting and removing the power cables a little harder than I would have liked. You're certainly not going to do this with one hand. Overall, the Vsys CR18 is a very simple device that does the job well. 
It's on the smaller side of car refrigerators, but that makes it lightweight and extra portable. It's quiet and reasonably energy efficient. My only complaints are I wish they didn't say it reached sub-zero temperatures in 15 minutes. The power cables should be a little easier to plug and unplug, and the full MSRP price of 300 US dollars on their website is too high. But if you find it under $200 like it is right now on Amazon with the affiliate link below, it's a good buy. Thanks for watching this review video. If you're interested in purchasing this fridge, please use my affiliate links in the video description to support my channel.